Hi friends, good evening all of you. In this video, I am going to discuss two objective questions. The value of the value of V in circuit shown in figure. So in this given circuit, we have to calculate this voltage. This is a simple circuit. Only one nodal equation you will get here, and this is node. If more than two branches are interconnected, we can say it is a node. Here, more than two branches, that is three branches, interconnected, and this is one node, and this is another node, and this node will act as a ground here and this is a node with this we can get an equation you can apply kcl here here kcl means kirchhoff current law that is sum of currents entering the node equals to sum of currents leaving the node here current is entering here here currents are leaving these two currents are leaving here you can see the currents entering the equals to here current entering is equals to current leaving this is a uh, regarding kcl current entering is equals to current leaving here i1 current i2 current i3 currents are entering so what you can write here i1 plus i2 plus i3 is equals to what you can write that is i4 plus i5 so like this you can write so by using the same formula you can solve it here the 3 amps current is entering and uh, let it be this is i1 this is uh, i2 so currents are leaving this one so from this what you can write here so 3 ampere current is entering so 3 equals to that is whatever the current that is flowing here i1 equals to you can write v1 by 1 that is v1 by 1 plus the current entering in this branch you can write and here i2 can be written as that is v1 plus 3 by the total resistance that is 1 again i am repeating here 3 amps current is entering here that is 3 equals to the current in this branch is that is i1 equal to v1 by 1 that is v1 by 1 and the current entering that is i2 is nothing but a v by r what is the voltage here that is a v1 voltage this v1 and right side you can see it that is plus 3 volts by total resistance in this branch in this branch what is the resistance 1 ohm so in denominator you have written this so if you simplify what you will get 3 equals to 2 v1 plus 3 so 3 minus 3 0 you will get so 0 equal to 2 v1 th that is v1 equal to 0 volts you are getting so v1 equal to 0 volts you are getting this v1 equal to 0 volts so if you apply kvl in this loop and you will get the required answer now so that is plus minus uh, in this voltage what you can write here that is kvl if you apply that is minus v1 and in this voltage let me arise these ones so after getting the v1 value using kcl just apply the kvl here so if you apply kvl that is the v1 is nothing but a the voltage across this one mount resistance so just apply kvl in this loop then you can get this that is plus v1 plus v1 just right side of this element when you are taking this loop just right side of this element just take it plus v1 and next plus 3 and next right side of this element is minus is there so minus v equals to 0 so you know that v1 is nothing but a 0 volts just substitute here 0 plus 3 minus v equals to 0 therefore v equal to 3 volts you are getting so the answer is 3 volts so again I am repeating here so this is a simple circuit if there is a more than one node you have to reduce the circuit and then apply the KCL so that you will get the answer quickly and this is only two nodes are here one node act as a ground here and the node you are applying a KCL here so at V1 you are applying at this node you are applying so what you can say a 3 amps current is entering so 3 equals to and the current entering through the 1 ohm resistance can be written as V1 by 1 plus the current entering through this uh, 3 volts in this branch whatever the current that is entering you can write it as that is V1 plus 3 volts by the total resistance in this branch that is 1 ohm so if you simplify 3 equal to 2 V1 plus 3 which is equals to V1 equal to 0 volts you are getting so after you got the V1 value just apply the KVL in this loop and you can write it as just right side of this element when you are considering this loop just right side of this element just consider so plus v1 and plus 3 and minus v equals to 0 just simplify you will get the v equal to 3 volts and one more small question here a circuit component that opposes the change in voltage a circuit component that opposes the change in circuit voltage the answer is capacitance capacitance opposes the change in circuit voltage in the same question if he has given the change in circuit current if the question given current then you can choose it as inductance if the question is current you can choose it as inductance again I am repeating 
a circuit component that opposes the change in voltage if they give voltage the answer is capacitance if they give the current if they give the current you have to choose the answer as inductance okay so this is regarding these two questions and thanks for watching this video please like this video and share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more videos thank you